usually Wednesdays I'm able to sleep in. Uh, but this morning Jackie decided to get up at 5.30. Jackie, you want oranges? Come on. Apparently Jake said I need to do something with myself today. I don't see how he looks any better than I do. Right, Jackie? He agrees. Jackie! Mommy's going upstairs. <laughs> Crackers out feeding the dog. So she apparently doesn't get enough food. Right? Hey, Jackie, what did you do? Huh? Hey, we're going trying to get you big boy bedding. You don't care. Come here. Are you throwing that away? Thank you. Come here. So our trip to Target that we were so excited about because we were going to get Jackie's new big boy bedroom stuff has ended in this nice little nap. I guess that's what happens when you're up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I'm not waking him up and I'm going to join him. All right, hopefully this video is not too loud because my car definitely has um, an exhaust leak. The day is over halfway over for work. It's been a crazy morning. I am going to the gym to get a workout in because with all the crazy stuff that happens at work, I need something that's kind of a, a constant or a routine um, in my life and right now that thing seems to primarily be making it to the gym and getting a good workout in and relieving some stress um, also makes it a lot a lot easier to put up with some of Jackie's antics whenever Katie leaves him uh, with me whenever she goes to work in the afternoon because she leaves at between 3.15 and 3.30. I have Jackie until I get off work at 4 and then I have him the rest of the evening. So um, that's how we're able to balance things out without doing daycare. So it's not super easy, but it keeps us from spending a whole lot of money on daycare. So there is that. Now it's that time of day where I have to make myself look like a presentable human being so I can go to work.
Hey, you can't watch this. Get out of here. All right, let's go. Becky, are you ready to go? Huh? What do you got? What's this? Huh? What's that? Shoe. Shoe? <laughs> All right, I'm changed and ready. Jackie's got his shoes on. I always get on my wife for not being able to keep up with anything, but lately, I cannot keep up with my keys. Oh, or my wallet. That might be useful. Let's get out of here, again. So we are on our way to Target, but this is no ordinary visit to Target. We are actually going to get Jackie's sheets and comforter and some other items for his toddler bed, um, which we just set up a little bit earlier this week. Um, so we're hoping to get him kind of excited about his bed and wanting to use it uh, so that he will actually get out of our bed. We'll see what happens. It's time to uh, get in here, find Jackie some sheets, comforters, some minion decorations to get him super excited. And uh, after we get home, I'll get everything set up and I'll wait until Katie gets back from work uh, before we take Jackie up there and show him everything because that would of course be pretty unfair if uh, I got to have that experience without her, so. All right, man, we need to find the kids, comforters, Over here, look. Look. What is that? What's this? What is that? Are there kids? What about this? Is that Kevin? <gasps> yeah. Who is that? What? You want another one? Hey, can you possibly tell me where I can find the stuff that keeps babies from being like crushed by furniture? Like the um, like the straps that anchor to the wall. Okay. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm <laughs> that was probably really too sure. much of a. <laughs> Too detailed of a description. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> so I have tried Walmart, Target, Home Depot. No one had um, straps to secure furniture to the walls that are made for like, you know, to keep kids from tipping it over. So I just got some L brackets and we are going to try to use those in the most inconspicuous way possible so hopefully it doesn't look terrible but uh, we'll find out.
So I think that the L brackets are actually going to be a lot better than what the straps would have been. Because, check this out. Nothing. <sighs> so, definitely safe. I think we're going to end it here.